Yo, what is up? And as you can already tell by the title, we're gonna be talking about the Nike Off-White collaboration with the Blazer All Hollows Eve. So let's jump right into it. Now, pause. Before you do anything, if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, hit that button. And if you already have, hit that notification button so you get a notification every time I post. And if you like this video, click the like. If you dislike, cool. It's still engagement. So first off, we're gonna start off where I got these shoes. I got them from StockX, so you know they're real. We're not gonna be playing those fake games with sneaks. They come with a little verification, like little thing that you can scan on the, I guess the StockX app to show that it's actually from them because people like duplicate these now, which is crazy. I got them for, what does that say? $702 is what I got these for. And they retail at 130. Yeah, that's what I believe they are. But yeah, I mean, I wanted the shoes. Like as soon as I saw that the design came out, I was gonna get them no matter what price they were. So let's jump into the review. Now let's start off by talking about the quality of these. The quality of this shoe for retail 130 is ridiculous because this shoe should probably be going for like 200, 220 in store by far the best well-constructed shoe that I have at this price point. You got like a suede right here on the uh, like shoestring part. You got a leather upper. You have all different materials just going around this whole shoe. The uh, the tongue is really cool on all of them. Well, I only have the, uh, the Vapor Max and this one. I don't know if it's on all of the actual shoes, but it seems to be a trend. Like this kind of puffy styrofoam um, tongue right here. I really like this. Super, super cool. Another great thing is the lace swap option that you have to put in these. I decided to put this color on one shoe and keep the other color on the other shoe to kind of give it, you know, that cool, creative vibe. But the details as far as like the shoelace thing right here, just small things. And then like the texture of this uh, Nike swoosh, you know, like on cakes, I know that's weird, but on cakes, how it's like, just raised, like you can see that it's just raised right there and it just gives it that extra like texture on the shoe that just makes it really, really cool. I'm actually rocking these today with the fit I have on. You probably can't even see it, but I got on some R13 pants, this like cream hoodie, and then I'm rocking these at the bottom. They go perfect. They are going to be the pop piece of every single outfit. And just overall, this shoe by far blows my mind with just how creative it is. And just like the touch of the like lavender just tag, it's just the perfect color for this. You can't go wrong with these. I, I can't see anybody really complaining about the resale price for this shoe because it is A1. Now the black ones that came out, I wasn't really a fan of that colorway just for the simple fact that they're black blazers and I feel like they're gonna get lost in the crowd with all the other shoes that are being worn. I wanted to get these because they stick out. As you can see, bam, like these are very noticeable shoes whenever you throw them on. And I just feel like you should definitely have pop pieces in your whole collection. So I'm gonna give you a more detailed look at the shoes because like me holding it up right here really doesn't do it justice. So check out that little detail clip and I will see you guys next time after that. Peace.